What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you guys are having an amazing weekend. So Notorious B.I.G., his mother, Ms. Valletta Wallace, said that she wanted to slap the daylights out of Sean Combs. She's speaking out in response to Rolling Stone's article about Diddy and his alleged longtime abusive behavior. She says, quote, I hope to see Sean one day. And the only thing I want to do is slap the daylights out of him. The Rolling Stone investigation touched on Combs and his alleged jealousy over Biggie and Tupac's friendship in the years leading up to both of their passings. After Rolling Stone published a lengthy article about Diddy and his longtime abusive behavior that mentioned the B.I.G., the Notorious B.I.G. earlier this week, the late uh, rap icon's mom is speaking out. The investigative story featured interviews with dozens of Combs' former friends and colleagues touching on his alleged violence toward accusers, including Cassie Ventura, as well as jealousy over a biggie, Christopher Wallace, um, and Tupac Shakur's friendship in the years leading up to their passings. Ms. Valletta is 71 years old, and she spoke to Rolling Stone for an interview published on May 30th yesterday telling the outlet that she feels sick to my stomach in response to allegations surrounding Combs, who's 54, as well as the recently surfaced uh, footage of him physically assaulting Ventura in the 2016 hotel incident. She says, quote, I'm praying for Cassie. I'm praying for his mother. I don't want to believe the things that I've heard. But I've seen the hotel video, and I pray that he apologizes to her. The retired teacher also expressed disappointment in the Bad Boy Records founder in detail and how she'd react in a potential future interaction with him. Um, she says, again, I'll, I hope to see Sean one day. And the only thing I want to do is slap the daylights out of him. And you can quote me on that, declared Valletta, because I liked him. I didn't want to believe all the awful things, but I'm so ashamed and embarrassed. He needs to apologize to his mother. She said, and she's the founder of the Christopher Wallace Memorial Foundation. She adds, I hope to God he sits her down and spills his guts and apologizes to her. One anecdote from the Rolling Stone report on Combs saw a former bad boy partner and president, Kirk Burroughs, claiming the I'll be missing you rapper felt slighted when Tupac Shakur and Biggie grew close. There was someone on the sidelines jealous, Burroughs said, referring to Diddy Combs. So that explains a lot, actually, thinking back on it. Um, I wonder if he's the one who instigated the entire East Coast, Rap Coast, you know, battle. Um, because if they were growing close, then he felt kind of iced out. That makes sense. And it aligns with his character from what we've seen. Biggie was a bad boy artist while Shakur was signed to rival Death Row Records. Per the article, Combs was fond of Shakur and tried to befriend him, but the California love rapper wanted no part. Pac didn't have any kind of respect for Puff. Um, photographer Monique Bunn told the outlet, explaining that he thought Combs was a corny executive. Y'all remember what... <laughs> Y'all remember what um, Suge Knight said at the Source Awards? If you don't want somebody dancing all in the videos, dancing, <laughs> come to <death> Row Records. <laughs> oh my goodness! And and Suge Knight has a whole podcast. Oh wow! Maybe he can interview Diddy if he goes inside. No, okay. Let me stop. Um, everything got blown out of proportion, Monique Bunn said, following a 1994 incident where Shakur was shot five times in a New York City recording studio as the rapper thought that Combs and his bad boy crew had him set up. Shakur and Biggie soon became hostile with one another. In September of 1996, Shakur passed away in a drive-by shooting at the age of 25 at the late, at, in Las Vegas. Months later, Biggie was also pow pow and passed away in Los Angeles at the age of 24. See, now that I'm like a little bit older, 24 and 25, my goodness, they were just starting to live their lives. 24 and 25, like, like Puffy is now double, past double their age. You know, he's 54. 
he had a chance to live his life, have children, travel the world, something that Biggie or Tupac never had the opportunity to do. To do. Man, 24 and 25, I will say this, during the short time that they were on this earth, they definitely you know, left their mark, not only in hip hop, but um, in the culture as a whole, right? Around the world, but 24 and 25 is so young. Wow, may, may they both rest in peace. Biggie reportedly had plans to leave Bad Boy shortly before he passed away, Dunn told Rolling Stone. She says, I know for a fact because he told me that. After the hypnotized rapper's death, Burroughs also told the outlet Rolling Stone that he approached Combs with the plans to put Biggie on the cover, but Combs allegedly wanted to take the spot for himself. Yeah, that figures. That tracks. I was telling Sean, let's make it Biggie. You still have a chance for a cover in the future. He's like, no, he's gone. I'm putting out an album, a No Way Out. In July, I need to be on the cover of Rolling Stone. This man has not changed since he was in his 20s or even on the Howard University campus, right? My goodness, what a textbook malignant narcissist. Oh my goodness, how selfish can he be? That's horrific. Combs is currently in the midst of a number of several um, SA and S trafficking lawsuits against him. And in March, his properties in Los Angeles and Miami were raided as part of an ongoing Homeland Security investigation. CNN reported on May 29th that the U.S. Justice, Justice Department may be preparing to file an indictment against the music mogul and that his accusers have been contacted and interviewed by federal investigators and notified that they may be brought to testify in front of a federal grand jury. Combs has denied all allegations saying in a statement obtained by people in December, enough is enough. You guys remember that. It's probably still pinned to his, his Twitter page. Um, he said, you know, for the last couple of weeks, I sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and my truth. Okay, well, we, again, all saw the video. Um, by CNN. I know he wrote this in December, but um, the truth is the truth and you can't dispute video evidence. May 17th, CNN published a surveillance video that showed him grabbing, shoving, and kicking Ventura in a 2016 altercation at the Los Angeles Hotel, an incident that she previously detailed in a lawsuit filed in November. And then he, he responds and says, you know, I was effed up I mean, I hit rock bottom and I make no excuses. My behavior in that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. He said an apology the next day. He captioned the, the post, I'm truly sorry. Yeah, I agree with that. Not that he, um, his actions were definitely one of a sorry individual because he could have been so much more, you know? He said he was fighting for his legacy. That legacy is tarnished. I mean, it is past rusted out. Um, it's unfortunate because people are now going to kind of always look at his children sideways. I hope that the ramifications of his actions don't trickle down to them. Um, but I'm glad that, you know, Miss Wallace is still alive. She's still honoring her son's memory. Um, she said that she wants to slap uh, the taste out of Diddy's mouth. Listen, I mean, I don't blame her. I'm really surprised that, you know, she said that she even still liked Diddy because a lot of people, a lot of people um, have tried to, you know, connect the dots. Even Tupac himself, before he eventually passed away, when he was pow powed five times, he's, he thought it was Puff that set him up that, you know, that during that first pow powing. Um, but the fact that, you know, she said that she liked him and she has just now had a change of heart because of the CNN video. She must have a really forgiving heart because a lot of people feel like, you know, Puff was jealous of Biggie and his talent, especially since Big was trying to leave. Because a lot of people who have tried to leave Puff have had 
Um, and we saw in that video, right, when Cassie tried to run away and leave him, um, have just had horrific consequences when it comes to someone who is an abuser like that. But anyway, you guys, let me know your thoughts. I'm glad that, you know, she said what she needed to say. I hope that she has the opportunity to even sit down with his mom, Miss Janice, because um, they should have a conversation. Yeah. I know he said that, I know Miss Wallace said that she wanted, you know, Diddy to sit down and apologize to his mom, which he should. But I would love to see if they had a, a real honest conversation about both of their sons. Um, but anyway, you guys, I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts about what Miss Wallace said. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk with you in the next one. Take care, aces. Bye.